Welcome back to Rocket City, and welcome to the Sun Belt Conference Championship. We've had a phenomenal season so far, 11-1 as you see right here. Only slip up to ULM, and we're taking on Troy today. Narrowly beating out Texas State, our former guy, Anthony Burks, the head coach over there. We love him. Last time we played Troy, Josh Merrill and Jeff Eaton put on a freaking show, breaking NCAA records, so they're not happy about it. They want some revenge, and we want the conference championship. But also, before we start this game, I want to give a huge shout-out to Fang from College Football Revamped. I was having some glitches with this game could not get it to work for whatever reason but he's able to fix it for me quite easily so without his help we would not have this video here for you today everyone in the comments right now i want you to say thank you fang look at how many moon men faithful came out to this game look at all the blue already ripping off a big one all computer and veggie smith gets the tfl Woo! veggie smith all over the field i'm coming off the edge here blowing up that tackle he dropped it. Fourth down and seven. Look at that spin move. Brandon Ford picking up where he left off. Picked off. Ah, oh, the quick out route. That's a mistake, and that's going to turn into a pick six. Nobody's there to get him. Just a trash throw by me. Forcing it. Trying to get a Wusu involved and played myself. They read the scouting report. They know we love to throw his way. Go, go, go. Just a big fat guy on your tail. I'm sending that. Oh, whoa, misfire. And he catches it, but he's way out of bounds. Come on, Jeff Eaton. I need to hit a few throws just to get him up to speed here, and this might be the one to do that. Oh, and Brandon Ford making it work. And we got blockers up there now. He's brought the energy. Definitely hitting Lonnie Clayton on this one. It's a good chunk. Cam Miller time with the spin moves. He is so fun to play with, man. The human joystick. This is looking nice. Blocks downfield. Brandon Ford, turn it up. Huge chunk of change, 26 yards. Nice. Oh, what a terrible decision by me. Fourth and one, you gotta go for it right here, right? And I can't even get the pass away. Trash. Just a rough start for me. Pick six, failing to get any points on that drive. Can't even tackle this running back. Keep pushing. Get in the guy's face. Holy crap. Got lucky and tripped on a blade of grass out there. Couldn't get there and hit him in time. He's got nobody. John Wise with the sack. The defensive tackle. Fumble. That's huge. Can neck roll get a return? Use that neck roll energy. I don't even know who popped that ball out, but I'm very proud of you. There's no review on it either. We got Lonnie Clayton already downfield, and he's getting a huge chunk. We got a lot of good receivers out here. You know, I see Brandon Ford right now, that running back, who's making a great catch downfield. Showing the hands. I see Chris Graham downfield, but I'm just going to take it with Jeff Eaton. Scrambling around. Whoa, you see 71 zooming around the field? I like it. Hit that supercharged speed. Give me the touchdown. Brandon Ford has been excellent. Player of the game so far. Uh-oh. Quarterback taking off. Way downfield. Man's averaging 17 yards a carry. Got to put it stop the gunner. And we're doing that with a blitzing safety. Right at the snap, and he got picked up by the running back. But it's enough to scare him, and he's throwing it out of bounds. Running back. T. Denson. Oh, airborne. Clog the middle. Oh, I like the Mexican standoff there, T. Denson. Oh, greasing his way through. Wide open. Touchdown. Tight end was left alone. They reclaim the lead. Hit a Wusu in traffic. Doesn't matter. A Wusu left alone. And that's a school record for receiving yards in a season. I was wondering if that would work. I had Chris Graham on the right. Just motioned him to the left. And that open space was there for a Wusu. They could not adjust to it. Picking up some Anthony Burke's tips. I'm going to try a similar thing here. We're going to move a Wusu over. Who's going to be the open man here? Throwing the bullet, and it worked again. Just zigzags all over the place. They don't know where to go. Easy throws for Jeff Eaton. Soft spots of the zone. 
Hopefully that works. Nope, falling backwards. I'm going for it again. You can't stop me. Just a little QB sneak. Did he get it? Yes, he did. Did a little spin. Good blocks. Brandon Ford's got another touchdown. Very fun drive for me, and we got ourselves tied up again. Whoop, soft tackling. Gotta hire a new defensive coordinator next year. Staying at home, just ran into our laps. He's got nothing. He's going down. John Booker, most prolific defensive lineman on our team so far. He's just hurling it deep. And punched away by Steven Parker. Loving what I'm seeing from Brandon Ford. And look at the beautiful helmet stickers. Just way out of bounds. That's illegal touching. Oh, just got to hurl that away. Nearly picked. I thought I was about to get sacked for a safety. I panicked. Truly a disaster of a drive and a disaster of a punt. Goodness gracious. Well, now they got it in scoring position with 19 seconds left. Go back, go back. Way out of the back of the end zone. Nothing there either. Third down. You know what? I'm fine giving him this short stuff. He's trying to scramble. He's going down. So they are going to just settle for the field goal here. Good work for the defense. Minimizing the damage. Oh, he missed it. Hung it right. I was thinking it wasn't going to be a difficult field goal for him, but he just totally screwed up. And we're all gridlocked at halftime. But now that it is halftime, let's hear from today's NIL sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to create a beautiful website and run your business. They have countless best-in-class website templates, and you can customize them to fit your needs. For me, I built a website for the RCU Football Season Ticket Club. This is a space for the fans of the Moon Mint to interact amongst themselves. And thanks to Squarespace, they have access to features like threaded comments, replies, and likes. It was pretty easy for me to build. Squarespace has a bunch of easy templates I can choose from, and you don't have to be an expert to make a beautiful website in just a few minutes. And with Squarespace, I can check analytics to see how many people visit the site and figure out which channels are most effective. I'm also able to embed third-party videos on Squarespace so we can see all the highlights from the games on Saturday and seeing all the fan reactions to seeing a wide-open receiver and a misread. What you should do is take advantage of my special offer right now and use my custom link in the description below at squarespace.com slash not the expert where you're going to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain once again take advantage of my special offer right now and use my custom link in the description below at squarespace.com slash not the expert for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain thanks again to squarespace for sponsoring rocket city and this video oh you do your thing lonnie clayton look at that block downfield too give me that stiff arm keep throwing them off it's so fun to motion players around throwing the bullet Awusu's got it. Trusting in his receiver. 69 yards. Nice. Oh, don't even get the pass off. Second and 17 now. You know what? Send it. That's not working. I'm going to get sacked again. Played myself. This is going to be picked. It is not fourth and 27, though. No dice. Throwing it out of bounds. We forced the fourth down on their end. Oh, breaks one. And <laughs> we just keep seeing great runs from Brandon Ford. To the outside this time. He can do that too. We go Ryan Brown, that corner. And he's turning up the speed. Ryan Brown inside the 10. Passed for 4,000 yards on the year. That's always nice to have. Oh, Cam Miller. He can stop on a dime better than anyone on the team. Juke move. Cam Miller gets a touchdown. Third rushing touchdown for the team. We recruited good running backs this year. Cam Miller and Brandon Ford, they're the real deal. Oh, nice tackle. Steven Parker's making some plays. He's not going to get it away. Screen pass does not work, and they're going to have to punt it back our way. Here we go. Joe Van. Big fullback getting a reception here. I don't know how I missed this until now, but you see the GoDaddy.com logos on the sidewall. It's bringing me back to the UGF days, man. Oh, nice throw, but it just tipped away by the defender. Nice hit. Way to run him over. 
That's a beautiful one. I see nobody in front of us. Brandon Ford gets himself his third touchdown of the game. This one as a reception. Just been a machine all game. You know, if there's college football, fantasy football, I'd be picking up Brandon Ford in your fantasy drafts. Quarterback keeper. They got the blocks, but they forgot about Steven Parker, who's had an excellent game. And their quarterback looks like he's hurt. Looks like the gunner's out of bullets. I'll see myself out. Oh, John Booker. Oh, already messing up the new quarterback's day. Quaid is not getting it done today. Oh, we got a face mask. Add some extra yards to it. Out of bounds. Up the gut. Oh, and they get the first. Gunnar Watson will not be returning to this game. It's Quaid's game now. And he's throwing a touchdown pass right there. So we only have a seven-point lead now. Keep the ball on the ground. And it's going to be easy with a guy like Brandon Ford. I'm like real-life NFL coaches love a random draw play on a long third down. And it doesn't work. Look at that spin move from the quarterback. It amounted to nothing for him because Travis Nicholson is going to sack him. A lot of people in the backfield, and we're going to sack him again. Justin Joseph on this one. Everybody back up. This is a big-time play. John Booker up the middle, breaking off of him. He's throwing it down. T. Denson punches it away. Fourth and 19. This could be the game. Oh, now he's throwing a dime, and it's too far. Turnover on downs. You tried, Quaid. You really did. Now time to burn their timeouts and seal up this victory. And it actually just hit me. This is our last chance with Jeff Eaton. So you know what we have to do in honor of that? We got to do a read option. Last time we'll ever see Jeff Eaton here at Rocket City. And he's actually handing this off for Brandon Ford, who's going to get a first. Look at that elite handoff, though. Take note, NFL scouts. Just accept the victory you got right here. Kneel the ball. No siree. I want more than that. I want glory because we're getting another first down with Brandon Ford. I want a touchdown with Jeff Eaton. Lonnie Clayton out there, too. His final game as a moon man. He's already showed out today. Can we get the blocks on the sideline? Jeff Eaton's going to do it. His final drive with the moon man is a touchdown. 28 yards out. A legend here at Rocket City. See, that feels so much better than a QB kneel. Legendary player finishes out in a legendary way. We love you, man. Dap him up. Guys are sprinting back, but I don't think he's going to be able to spike it. That's the ball game. Rocket City are your Sun Belt champions. And Jeff Eaton loves it. We wanted to promote ourselves to a new conference. This is how you do it. Did not have a perfect record this year. I am a little disappointed about that, but you gotta be happy with where we started the year. A lot of successful moments, and we're still not done yet. We still got a bowl game. Why am I talking like it's the end of the year? I, I just realized that. What? I don't know why I said all that. It's actually not Jeff Eaton's last game. Everyone's in the comments like, Drew, what are you talking about? <laughs> Stats on the game. Jeff Eaton, 15-22, 310 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Brandon Ford was the player of the game for me. 18 of 90. Two touchdowns on the ground. Jeff Eaton had a big one there at the end, and Brandon Ford led us in receiving two five catches 110 receiving yards for a touchdown steven parker led us in tackles and it was no secret he was killing it today six sacks today two for john booker one for wise one for joseph one for mayfield and one for nicholson t denson forced the fumble early on in the game and devin carter scooped it up that was a fun game i don't know why i thought it was the end of the season in my head maybe because it just felt like a huge game conference championship a little bit of finality to it always satisfying to add a new trophy to the trophy case and getting a new upgrade maybe the pipeline just get ready for next season Oh, that's exciting. And now next year, we're definitely going to be using it on the saving factor. The insta commit thing. Travion Henderson winning the Heisman Trophy. He's a good player in real life. Have not seen him in action in his second year, but I bet he'll be pretty good. So there it is. Received a bid to play in the New Orleans Bowl against FAU. Not exactly the game I was looking for, but we're at number 14 in the country. This is pretty much as good as it's going to get. But it's all right. FAU looks pretty good. 10-3, and 8-2 and two in their conference. I'm excited to play him. And we got some award winners. Neck roll Devin Carter won the Bed Narek Award. And John Booker wins the Nagurski. He was very good this year. I feel like we get a lot of love just because I'm the user player. And we got another one. John Booker wins the Lombardi as well. Oh, Devin Carter wins the Butt Kiss Award. I mean, we're just winning everything at this point on the defensive side of the ball, which is hilarious because we stunk at defense. So maybe just the inflated stats for them is why they're getting these awards. The true one that I think is the most legit is, of course, Chris Graham winning Johnny the Jet Rogers Award. The best returner in 
college football. And Drew Morris wins AP Coach of the Year. Once again, I'm the user player in this dynasty, so they're going to give it to me a lot when we're decent. We don't need all Americans. We got John Booker, Doug Mayfield, Devin Carter, T. Denson, which is honestly an underrated player. I guess he's not underrated. He's a first team All American, but he was fun this year. Chris Graham is probably the only realistically legit one. What about the second team? We got to have some. Travis Nicholson. All right, that's just a stretch. Anybody who performed like well on our team gets on here. Steven Parker. Brandon Ford's well deserving. He was excellent. No Wusu love out here? Damn. Like Wusu's top five in receiving yards. Maybe they only show love to guys who get a lot of receptions. Looks like Alabama did make it into the college football playoff. It's official. We beat a playoff team this year. I wonder if they'll win the championship. That would really boost my ego. Actually, I would kind of hate it. They're our rivals. What am I saying? What's even crazier is BYU made it. They were undefeated. Miami makes it in there. Crazy simulation for the times. But that's pretty much all I got for this video. Next episode, we will be playing the bowl game against FAU. It'll actually be the final game with Jeff Eaton and company. So save that sentimental emotion for next episode. Anyways, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book. And as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you to Patreon supporters, Christian Tag, Matt Woodruff, Jack Webb, Anthony Uhaz, Zach Harper, Timbo Slice, Jacob Jordan, Wyatt, Jason Huerta, Tyler Cracker, Tyler McGlynn, Austin Gazzetti, Casey Knox, Demandre Hunter-Martin, Rosalie Jarecki, and Seth Washburn.